This is what we can do. We can do it with American innovation and ingenuity. And then I would say to everybody here, I would say, Americans, we have to find a way to reduce this consumption. We have to find a way in our lighting, in our daily lives, transit, mass transit, uh, buildings, uh, solar roofs and schools. Find a way to give incentives to everybody, not a mandate, but an incentive to the private sector to become green and to give tax incentives to make that happen, to have the government produce an investment focus that today we don't have. And then we say, what is another huge threat? And that is the threat of greenhouse gas emissions. Scientists are saying this. Uh, glaciers are falling down. Ecosystems are suffering. You can see the world's climate change because of two factors. One, man-made pollution. And number two, a huge, huge reliance that the world has on petroleum and fossil fuels. And America causes 25% of that pollution. 25%, yet we are only 5% of the world's population. But it's not just us, it's China, and India, and developing countries that today are saying that, why are you putting restraints on us? We want to develop. Well, it's not working, it's not helping, and what we need is mandates. Mandates to the world, to the utility companies, to every government that says within a certain period of time. And what I'm saying is that we do greenhouse gas emissions by 30% by 2020, by 90% by 2050. And you do it by a cap and trade system where every single effort to produce greenhouse gas emissions is curtailed. In New Mexico, the President of the United States, his first week in office, gets out of the Kyoto Treaty. Well, we're the one state that said we're abiding by the Kyoto Treaty, and so far we have.